Aoyo here, here with a new playthrough of The Crooked Man. Now, someone requested that I do this game, but then uh, I was holding off on it because I have already seen a full playthrough of this game, so some of my reactions to certain key points in the game will not be as genuine as it would be if I were doing it blind, but on the bright side, I won't have to worry about getting lost too much. Now, let's go on. Now, this is made from the same person who made The Mermaid Swamp, so this should be a bit of a treat. This game contains su sudden surprises and harsh images. Harsh images. The weak of heart and those poor with horror, sh horror should not play. The author takes no responsibility for any trouble that arises from playing this game. It's all your fault, man. There was a crooked man, and he walked a crooked mile. You found a crooked sixpence upon a crooked stile. He bought a crooked cat which caught a crooked mouse and they all lived together in a crooked little house I'm not sure if that's how it really goes but I was just going along with the beat of the little nursery my mu nursery rhyme music wow phew finally things look tidy in here that should be that is there anything else we can help with David nah I'm fine sorry for making you guys help me move and thanks for showing me the place, Paul. I'll have to pay you back sometime. Ooh, nice. The three of us can go out drinking. I look forward to it already. Oh, I could just taste that white Russian. Well, we better get... Well, we better get going. Got it. Be careful, you two. So as you can see, the style of the game looks very similar to, the mer to Mermaid Swamp. And from what I from what I've seen from a playthrough and from what I've pl and while I was playing Mermaid Swamp, uh, it seems that this game is not going to be as lighthearted as Mermaid Swamp, but it's supposed to have like a better storyline, huh? Sheesh! Paul forgot his license. Oh, excuse me. I should get it to him before well, if he's still around. Got Paul's license. Lego. Huh? You hear someone? with that place seriously it's filthy it's practically falling apart what were you thinking he wanted to move for a change of pace and that will not help him you hear look what can I do he's not the richest guy you know can't even afford much furniture besides you told me to look for the place right don't come complain to me now oh are they arguing you're right I'm sorry I just wanted to help David out I know look I should be sorry we'll visit him some other we'll visit some other time the talking gets distant. The license can wait, I guess. Can wait, I guess. Better get to bed. What time is it? Uh, in your place, I mean. Let's go exploring first. Wow, what time? What's? What time is this place set in? Because that computer looks like a relic. Not many clothes in here. Not many clothes inside. Not many clothes inside. Empty trash can. Huh. Bathroom. Washing machine. Uh, that's not, don't want to go. Yes, you do. You gotta take a mean dump. You, you, you drank some milk and you're lactose intolerant. Ah, uh, them enzymes. Oh, dear! Hello? Hello? Who is this? Hi. This is an automated message from... Some insurance company wanting your personal information, surely? Goddamn telemarketers. Okay. I'll just call it a day. I should take it easy for my first place in a new pl for my first day I'm in a new place. This place is actually Huh. Actually no, now that I think about it, it is kind it does look kinda cozy despite the space. I mean bathroom, computer room. Huh. Living room, kitchen, and bedroom all in one. It's actually kind of nice. Ooh, I wonder if there's anything in the fridge. A refrigerator. No shit, David. Cupboards. A stove. A sink. Another sink. Is that a box of tissues? Ooh hoo hoo. You gotta flog your log. Come on, you know you want to. Man, I'm tired. Ah, time to go to sleep.
Huh? The, the hell? I can hear that. Oh, really? Is that someone crying? I can't sleep through this. Is it one of my neighbors? I should go complain. <laughs> this one? Yeah, I know. It's this one down here, I think. No, no, it's this one down here. Yes? Who is it at this hour? Pardon me, it's just I can hear you from my room, even. It's making it hard to sleep. Would you stop? Huh? What are you saying? I was asleep until you woke me up. You trying to start something? You're the guy who moved into 205, right? There's no way you'd hear me from here. You'd hear me from there? Uh, I guess so. Uh, sorry for waking you. Bye now. She's right. The room's pretty far apart. More importantly, it was a man's voice. Was it just my imagination? Whatever. I better get back to sleep. Yeah, it is your imagination. Or maybe- Oh, dear! No. No, the mermaid's curse has come back to haunt me. No! She wants to drown me. Yikes! The water! Is the faucet busted? Hmm? Under the bed. Oh, dear. Under the bed? Is Paul trying to prank me? Uh, talk about bad taste. Hmm... Mmm, taste. Mm. Okay. Let's see, you get in bed. Under the bed, huh? What's down here? Hmm? Found something. Got a scrap from a notebook. Ever since she went away, I spend every night clutching my sweaty pillow and writhing. I can't say goodbye. What other, what other choice do I have? What's this? Did the former tenant leave this? Ah, sounds like some girlfriend issues. Oh, whatever. I'll get to bed. Oh, excuse me. Sorry if I'm slightly, ga slightly gassy as I'm burping a lot, because I, I just drank a soda not too long ago. It sounds still. Where's it coming from? Give me a break. I need to sleep. Yeah, buddy! I, I know she left, but there's more fish in the sea. There, there. Calm your little oh, what the? Hey, buddy. Ah, uh, who is it this time of day? Hello? <laughs> oh, it's the chipmunks. Uh, yeah. Thanks for all the. No, no, I didn't mean to just. I'm busy with work, so. Yes, I'll come visit today. Tell her that for me. Okay, bye. Visit who now? Man, I slept into noon. I better go. So much for taking it easy. Go where now? G get through the door. Thank you. Pfft, I know. <laughs> hey! Hey. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? I wonder what happens if I ignore him. No, I won't ignore him. <laughs> Apparently genius here didn't notice me walking by. Paul, what is it? Yeah, uh, I forgot my license yesterday. Was it on the table? Oh, yeah, this. Sorry, I was going to bring it to you, but... Oh, thanks. So, you going somewhere? Yeah, to the hospital. I see. Take care of yourself, buddy. Okay. Oh, yeah, Paul. Did you write something on the bathroom mirror? Oh, pff, oh you found that. <laughs> oh, no. Huh. Run on the bathroom mirror? What kind of childish brat do you take me for, David? Uh, sorry, I, I didn't mean it like that. Anyway, I'm off. Oh, screen's fading out. And we're at the hospital now. What? <laughs> Mom's hospital room. No need to go in there. Hey, Madre. I can hear the radio. Mom, it's been a while. Are you doing okay? Oh, my. If it isn't little Timmy. You've certainly grown. Uh, good. You look healthy. Sorry, I can't see you very much. I've been busy with work. 
But I took a few days off, so I moved to this great room with furniture and everything. It's near your favorite cake shop, too. It's near your favorite- oh, wait, I already read that part. So when you get better, we can live there together. My, that's wonderful. Get along with Linda, will you? All that fighting you do worries me so. Maybe I can come visit you sometimes. You like apple pie, don't you? I'll make the best I know how. Whoa. Mom, I'm not Timmy. I'm your son, David. Remember? Oh, yes, they opened a bakery the other day. Oh, it smells so wonderful. Maybe I should buy from there. Mom? Oh, who would you be? Why are you here? How did you get in? This is my room. Do you have the wrong room? Who are you? Say something, will you? Ma ma oh dear. Get out! I'll have you thrown out! There's a strange man in my room. Just get rid of him now! Oh. Oh dear. Mrs. Hoover. Mrs. Hoover, don't strain yourself, please. Go to sleep, okay? Who are you? Don't touch me! Get away! Now, calm down, miss. Let's get you in the bed. I'm sorry, David. Leave your mother to us. You'll have to leave for today. Understood. Take good care of her. Oh, poor guy. Davy? Is that my Davy boy? Where are you going? Why are you leaving me? M Mom. Your flight school exams are coming up. You want to be a pilot, don't you? Your mother always has your back. Please, don't leave me alone. I don't want to be alone here. Davy, please. Mom! It's me, remember? Mom! David, please leave. She's very confused right now. But but she said my... I said leave. Oh, poor guy. Oh, God! Mrs. Hoover, please calm down. Bring the sedatives. That scream. Can I go back in? No, I can't. Let me just save right here. Oh yeah, even the save is similar to Mermaid Swamp. Let's see, notebook scrap, lighter. I have a lighter. Cigarettes. You smoke? Huh. Oh. Hey, doctor. Hello, David. Did you see your mother? No. Yeah. Well, I guess she'll. S she still doesn't know. Who she still doesn't know me. Yes, she's forgotten many things, and she's having trouble controlling her emotions. I ask you to be patient. She may well be get better, so you can live with her again. Thanks. I hope you can help her. For those of you who don't know, she, I think she has some kind of brain tumor that's causing her to impair some of her memories. What? What? Oh, gosh. Yeah, it's this room. Did I move that chair? Hmm. There's something in the drawer. Got a leaflet for a school. Looks pretty old. Hmm, these LLM courses are circled? Was somebody shooting to be a lawyer? I guess this must be the former tenants. He sure forgot a bunch of stuff. Maybe no furniture is better better after all, huh? I'll pass it on to the next person who does come by. That is kinda nice. Oh! Freaking phone. Hello? Hey David, how are you doing? Ha! <laughs> oh, you, you, just, you saw me just yesterday. I'm doing fine, thanks. Good, good. Call if you're ever lonely, okay? Maybe when Paul's not around, you and I can play hide the, hide the pickle. By the way, I got a call from Shirley yesterday. That was bad. I'm so sorry. That was really bad. I got a call from Shirley yesterday. We didn't really talk, but... Sorry, I told her your number. She said she was so worried about you. It's okay. Tell her I don't need her worry. She should just look out for herself. All right. Well, I ha I'll hang up now. All right, see you. Hmm, Shirley, ex-girlfriend. Nice. Are those books? I'm tired of reading. I should go to bed. Reading what? What are you reading? Do you go to college or something? Oh, pff, flight school. Oh, uh, hello, staticky TV. Well, why did it turn on by itself? Is it broken? 
Hello. Oh gosh. Good. Oh my god. The image didn't really scare me so much, but it was really the sound. <laughs> what? Oh, this is creepy. Did it say sink? No, it said foot. What was that? Okay, so sink. Hmm? There's a scrap of paper under here. Got a scrap of paper. There was a crooked man. And he walked a crooked mile. He found a crooked sixpence against a crooked style. He bought a crooked cat, which caught a crooked mouse. And they all lived together in a little crooked house. Isn't this a mother goose rhyme? Why is it here under the sink? I guess the previous tenant? Everything leads back to the previous tenant, doesn't it? This is so strange. I should sleep and forget about it. Lego. Betty by time. <sighs> uh, oh, I can't sleep. Oh, tossing and turning. Oh, oh, douche. I fell out of bed. Okay. Enough goofing around there. Moving for a change of pace, huh? Guess that's not working out so well. I appreciate Paul and Marion's help, but... Uh... Whoa. Crying again. Is that a kid I hear? What kid would live in the these beat-up apartments? Heck, maybe they're lost. I should go check. Let's see. Oh, okay, he's in control. Of course, there's no kids here. Must be getting tired. Yeah, these look like- oh, what? These apartments look like single apartments, the kind you'd see college kid, maybe college kids move into when they first move out, maybe? Just a broken cup. Jeez, that startled me. But wait, what? Help me. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Ugh! The coffee says, y you gotta be. This room, is it really, is really, really strange with its voices and TVs turning on? What is this? Uh, maybe this is your cue to get the hell out? What, well, before... Before some poltergeist goes ape shit on your shit and pull, drags you into another dimension where you have to slay dogs that try to eat, ravage your butthole? Yeah, what's up? Man, you sound sleepy. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, uh, yeah, um... Was up all, all late last night? I gotta ask you something. Is now okay? Yeah, what? Do you know who used to live in this room? Nah, I don't know. You asked the landlady? You curious about something? Well, seems like he forgot a lot of stuff, and I'll ask the landlady, sure. Later. Oh, well, some help you were, buddy. The landlady's on the far end of the first floor. I'll, s I'll go see what she knows. Alright, so we got a lead. So yeah, this is just a, this is going on for a long, pretty long, but believe it or not, this is just a prologue. Okay, first floor in the end of the hall. Hello! Oh, it's Mr. David. What seems to be the matter? Good day, miss. I just wanted to ask you something, you see. About the room I'm in, can you tell me anything about the person who used to live here? Hmm, well, you know, these apartments always have people coming and going. Now, what was that boy's name? I believe he was a man about your age. He suddenly left about a month ago. Said to leave the furniture and use it however. You wouldn't know where he went. I n never really heard that, no. He just, he really just up and left out of the blue. Ah, I just can't remember that name. I could rummage through my documents to find the previous tenants if you'd like. N no. Are you stupid, David? Are you stupid? N no, there's no need. I was just a little curious. Thanks. I'll see you around. Alrighty. Sorry I wasn't very useful. Oh my gosh. No, David's just dumb. A man about my age. I can only, I can only wonder. Oh well. I'll get back to my room. Uh-huh. You sure you want to go back to your room? Are you really, really sure? Are you really, really sure? Are you really sure, David? Are you really, really sure? Why are these tracks on the floor? They lead up to this wall. Is there something in this crack? Got a brass key. 
This key is pretty fancy. I doubt it's for anything in here. So I wonder where. I wonder where too. Oh, and he's not gonna clean up. He's not gonna clean up the skid marks on the floor. The guy's voice. The kid's voice. The kid's voices. The mirror writing and the TV turning on. The coffee. Huh. It's like a poltergeist or something. But I would have thought the landlady would mention this kind of thing. What's going on here? Well, you see, haunted apartments are half off in this time of day. Not that I'd care if there were any ghosts here. I wouldn't much care if they haunted me or killed me either. Wow. That's kind of morbid there. But I wonder about the scrap of paper. What was the man who lived here like? Did this stuff happen when he was here? Not much use thinking about it. I'll call it a day. Y y you ought to clean this up. Seriously. Oh, then again, you are a guy. Well, I'm not saying all guys are slobs, but... <laughs> generally. Well, not generally either, I'm sorry. I'm just gonna, sh I'm just gonna stop right there. <laughs> what? What? Where's that coming from? Is it from inside the house? Maybe. It could just be the radio that's in here. Radio? What's... Why is it in my closet? Not to mention turning on by itself. Beep. Hmm. There's something on this paper here. It's an address. Our special place. In Silent Hill. No. Where's that supposed to be? Whoa! Funny thing. Su special, special place. And I mentioned Silent Hill. And not to mention, if it weren't for that guy's jacket being black, he would look kind of like James Sunderland. I don't know. This is just me. I'm probably not the only one who thinks this way. Now let's go inside our safe and cozy bed. Or not. I'm waiting for you. What? Why did... And when did it... This is your cue to run, David. Ah! <laughs> uh. All right. Hey, Paul. So, did you sleep last night? Sorry you had to sleep on the couch. Actually, I'm gonna cut it right here. It's hit over 20 minutes. Plus, I'm gonna take a wee break. Okay, so I'll see you guys in the next part.